This property is very unique and very, very different. It's hard to describe really what it is, but it's been our home for about 16 years and we've loved every minute. My name is Scott Jay. We live at 651 Hendler Road here in Severna Park. We were able to purchase this property uh, in 1999. It had been abandoned for 40 years. I was familiar with the property, but had never been on it. I was very surprised to find that it had a four stall stone stable that was there that was also boarded up. By the time we settled on it, we had never been inside of it. We rebuilt the house, put a second floor on it, added a large room to it with a stone fireplace. A great mason by the name of Fuzzy Lens is the one that did all the stonework to make sure that it all fit together. Mr. Hendler owned the property uh, in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. Manny Hendler was uh, a ball, born in West Baltimore and his father had a, um, a dairy farm. Well, he heard about ice cream and so he started making it in his basement at the age of 19. By the time he was like 27 years old, he had a very large factory on 1100 East Baltimore Street in Baltimore. And so he wanted a, an estate, so he bought this. It was actually 33 acres at the time. The original house is right over the hill. And this was his stable. Next door was a tenant house. In about 1928, Mr. Hemmler, being Jewish, couldn't play golf in Baltimore. So he went to Oscar Hatton, the developer of Severna Park, and said, hey, if I build you nine more holes of uh, golf course and I build you a clubhouse, when my druggist come down from Baltimore, can we play? And he said, certainly. So this is the clubhouse. It was built in 1928. Everybody from Baltimore would come down. They would have all kinds of games and sing-alongs and everything. The ladies didn't like coming down because it was down in the country. So Manny Hemmler said, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put in a sidewalk for you with a curb and I'll put in some old lights just like they have in the city. We'll make it like it's a city street with a barber pole and there was a hypothecary uh, window next door here. I took it out and turned it into a garage. Being in Severna Park, you're 20 minutes from Annapolis, 35 minutes from Baltimore, 45 minutes from Washington, D.C. You can't beat it. It's quiet, but you've got to remember, you're in the, you're in the country. We'd like to have somebody, or we hope that somebody buys it and appreciates it as much as we did and how much we loved it that's here. Uh, it's a good way of life. And most of the floors uh, in the house are made out of hard pine. I was in Baltimore one day up at Little Italy. They're tearing down a building. They had, had this big pile of these 15 by 15 timbers, offered to buy them. I, Cut them, had them cut up, made them into flooring, and put the floors down. Don and I are fortunate that we can envision things when they're finished rather than the condition that they're in. When we walked around and saw this place it was all boarded up, and had raccoons living in the attic, and it was pretty much fallen down, and they had put a chain link fence around it, uh, a friend of ours said, Scott, you don't see all this mess here, do you? And we said, no, we see it's all finished. So I drive around the corner and I thank the good Lord for being alive because it's yeah, yesterday particularly and today too. Beautiful blue sky, green, everything is in bloom and it's quiet and it's secluded and but yet you're still in the middle of everything. That's what I like about it. And there's not anything like it, I don't think, anywhere. And that's what attracted us to it, was is that we had an opportunity with a kind of a clean palette to create something that, uh, to us, is special. Probably for the last 100 years, it's been a pretty happy place. And I hope that uh, whoever buys it will keep it happy and that they have a good life here.